you guys, it is VVids and welcome back to another video. Now, today I thought I'd give you a quick update on what I've been doing the last few days because I haven't actually logged on RuneScape in the past three days. And uh, shout out to Dolan because he's speaking to me in the chat right there. Um, I'm not sure if he knows I'm recording. Um, but, you know, shout out to Dolan. Basically, today um, is currently 8.40 or 22.9. Um, and I've got a drumline rehearsal at... 10 o'clock, so I'm going to be leaving here in about an hour, and uh, I thought I'd quickly make this video to update you guys what I've been up to, because um, I need to practice, I need to practice some of my pieces before I go to rehearsal, as well as, you know, keep you guys updated with what I've been doing the last few days, and I'm lagging terribly right now. So basically, one of my mates, uh, stepdads, owns a painting business, and he has been asked to paint an entire, um, an entire public school. And what he's got is he's got his uh, his best mate, which is one of his colleagues, and he had to hire somebody else. And then he's got his stepson, which is my mate, obviously. Um, so that's uh, three of them, I think. One, two, three. And then basically they needed, they almost needed a you know an extra an extra pair of hands just to get things done more more efficiently because the amount of stuff that they have to do is you know is absolutely enormous. So basically what I've been doing on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, I've been waking up at six o'clock in the morning. I slept over at my mate's house on Monday night, Tuesday night and Wednesday night basically what we do is we get up on uh, we get up at six o'clock in the morning and we'd leave home at about 6 30 and what we would do is we basically we just get we would basically just get to the uh, get to the school and um, basically do anything that the stepdad told us to do so for example the first day we got there we basically had to clean all of the outside of about four buildings I think it was so I think it's four buildings and basically what we had to do is we had to fill this um, paint bucket with some soap and some water and we were given two brushes one had an extend like one had an extension on it and the other one was just a small little brush and we just had to brush the complete outside of these four buildings not the roof just the side and underneath the roof and then um, like, I don't know, the side roof, I guess, I don't even know what it's called. But that's what, that's basically what we were doing. So we just had to use these brushes to scrub the doors and just scrub all the walls. And then if it was really, really high, because sometimes there were different buildings and they were actually on stilts, they were that high. And you have to use the extension to, like, obviously, like, the complete extension and it extend, like, four or five meters. And we basically were just, like, leaning back and then just scrubbing these, um, scrubbing these massive buildings trying to get them nice and clean for when the painters came around and essentially, you know, painted them at the end. But we were, we were essentially just prepping them or preparing them for painting. And then on the second day, we had to um, basically get all of the stuff off of the walls on the interior on uh, like five buildings, I think it was. And there were little things on the walls and there were like little Velcros, uh, Velcro circles and they were stuck to the wall with super glue so it was really really easy just to get them off the wall but then when it came to removing the super glue it was an absolute pain in the bottom we couldn't actually get them off like the first day we'd, like, we'd be scrubbing we'd be scrubbing 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 we couldn't actually get them off um, so it wasn't until the third day that we could actually you know get them off properly because we had the right tools and things but it was an absolutely pain in the butt because we we eventually called them the death dots because they were almost the uh almost the end of us and it was we worked from seven in the morning till uh, 10 o'clock, no, not 10 o'clock at night, that'd be a bit, uh, that'd be a bit overdramatic, um, but we worked from 7 in the morning till 5 at night, and it was, it was, it wasn't too, too bad, it was very, um, monotonous, and it was very straining on your back, and straining on your arms and things, because if you're carrying around these big brushes, and leaning over, and then, um, for the first, like, four, five, six hours, it's not too bad, but when it gets to that last three or four hours, that's when it's really, really starts to, um, act taxing and things like that, but now I'm just complaining, but, I thought I'd just let you know what I've been up to, guys. Um, but, you know, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. There's plenty of videos to come. I just need to get, you know, a bunch of time just so I can put all these videos together. I'm working on that Max K video. I'm trying to make it as good as I can for you guys, as well as my journey to non divination, journey to non agility, how I train divination, how I train agility, all those good videos um, are to come. So, hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe for future content. And I will see you in the next video.